Following on from the previous video, we uh, we managed to work out the we, we we managed to work out our Taylor series for the square root of x centered at four. Now we need to look at the interval of convergence. So, um, so if if you look at this, this we we are we are ignoring the two for the time being. So, uh, so now we need to look at the interval of convergence. So here it's saying if k if k is an integer, if this k is an integer. Then the series will converge for, for all values of x. But then our k is not an integer. So, uh, so, so you start here, you either go here or you go here. So our k is not an integer, our k is a half. So, uh, so our k, if k here is not an integer, which is our case, um, then, then you know for, sh you know for sure that it will definitely converge, uh, for anything, uh, for, for anything between negative one and one. So, uh, so, so, so it, this is excluding the endpoints. But then, if k, if k is uh, is is uh, is between negative one and zero, then you can include you can include this. But then, but then this is not our case. Um, uh, our case is actually this: if k is greater or equal to zero, which which is, which which is our case here, our k is a half. So this is our scenario here. But but for sure, you would know that. You will know that in between here it would definitely converge. But the good thing is now we uh, because our k is greater than zero, greater or equal to zero, we know that we can include the two endpoints. We know we can include the two endpoints. So we can we can we can we, we, we can write this now. So we can include the two endpoints. So whenever you see this, you can translate it as um, as as this. And then, uh, and then times everything by by four. That will then give you this. And then add everything by four. That will then give you this. So now, um, now we know our series will converge, including. Uh, sorry. Now we know our series will converge between zero and eight, including zero and including eight. Okay.